New at 10, an East Providence man is recovering tonight after being bitten by a venomous copperhead snake. Police say the snake bit the man while he was watering his garden. Now, the snake has been captured. Now, authorities are trying to figure out where it came from. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in East Providence with the details. Well, it's illegal to own a copperhead snake here in Rhode Island. So now DEM investigators are trying to figure out just how one got here and was able to bite an East Providence man. The Rhineboats thought they've seen it all in their Riverside neighborhood. Fox, coyote, even a swan walking down the street. Just uh, earthworms and goddess snakes, that's about it. No copperheads at all. This is very, very unusual. DEM says this copperhead snake slithered into the yard of this Channing Ave home and bit John Hunter while he was watering his plants Thursday evening. Looked down the street and saw flashing lights and then more cars arrived, the fire truck, the fire department arrived, rescue arrived and we didn't know what was going on, but there was a lot of commotion down at the end of the street. Before Hunter was taken to Rhode Island Hospital, he was able to put a bucket on top of the snake and DEM investigators took it. According to DEM, copperhead snake venom is rarely fatal to humans. The department says there are no known populations of venomous snakes in Rhode Island. So now investigators are trying to figure out how it got here, if it was unintentionally transported to Rhode Island, or if it possibly escaped from an exotic pet owner. Neighbors hope those questions are answered quickly. We look at this and we say, okay, where did this copperhead snake come from? Are there others? You know, we need to, do we need be, to be concerned? Um, there are a lot of pets on this street mm -hmm. and um, a lot of grandkids. So. Mm -hmm. And so the Rheinbolts say they haven't received any information from police or DEM about the incident, so they're just taking it upon themselves to be extra cautious when they're out in the yard and mowing the lawn. At last check, the victim remains in good condition at Rhode Island Hospital. Reporting live in East Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.